When Stephanie and Junior McQuiston's nine-year-old son asked to play basketball in the park with some friends last week in Staplehurst, they didn't hesitate. The park is just a block from their home. Then, just before they went to check on him an hour later... My husband was out in the front talking to a neighbor of ours and um, up pulls a blazer and my son's getting out of the driver's seat. According to the sheriff, in the passenger seat was 20-year-old Todd Osmond of Milford, who they say made the boy drive his SUV. The sheriff told us he believes Osmond was under the influence of drugs at the time. Stephanie says her son told deputies Osmond drove up to him in the park and told him to get in or he'd get hurt. We've been trying to like teach him about stranger awareness, but with his disability, it's hard. Their son has Asperger's, a mild form of autism. According to Stephanie, the boy told his counselor Osman hit him several times in the chest while he was driving. They're not sure how long he was forced to be in the vehicle. This is like every mom's nightmare, but I was one of the very few lucky ones to where I'm looking at him and the nightmare didn't continue. The boy's father says well, Osman said some strange things to him and then drove off. Deputies arrested Osman later that night for kidnapping a minor for a person to do this, any child. And even if they do bring them back, they don't realize what goes through a child's head and the fear that goes through the child's head in that small moment of time. Even if it's five, 10 minutes, that five, 10 minutes changes a kid, his thought process, or even how he looks at things differently for the rest of their life.